Listen up, Raiders! Welcome to the Geek Chest! My name's Steve. My name is Disappointment. How did I get this? You said which one I didn't want. Yeah, but that's where, you're like, your human nature of niceness should have kicked in and be like, Okay, I'll take the... No, he shoves me with this thing. What is this? You're mistaking me for a decent individual. <laughs> you guys <laughs> you heard it here first. You are sorely mistaken. Yeah. Uh, today, we're going to be trying to do some more collectible videos, so there'll be probably more collectible wars here in the near future. Because personally, I enjoy doing these little discussions. Yeah, they're fun. But today, because we did this uh, review a little bit ago of the Bandai uh, larger series. Bandai versus uh, GMK Bandai. Ghidorah. We decided to do Bandai versus Bandai. Because we got the Bandai Creations GMK Ghidorah over there. Which that one you can actually currently find in stores. Good luck getting this one. <laughs> oh, this is the one at Walmart, right? Yeah, you can get that one at Walmart. I think I've seen them at Target. Most general retailers. I think Walmart's the only place I've still seen them at. But it's like it's one of those like you can order them like Diamond Dozen online too. Um, I guess you start first while I look at this monstrosity. But yeah, uh, maybe the reason we're doing this today is just because it's literally the same kaiju in the same essentially toy line. So we thought this would be kind of a cool little comparison video to do. Oh man, all suddenly my got better. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to defend yours with honor. But anyways, I guess I will go first with these, but I will defend it with honor. Click click. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the only saving grace is to put it out if it's misery. <laughs> oh uh, god. Real quick, we'll zoom in just so you guys can get a better look at the kaijus and then we'll discuss them a little bit. So for a look at the uh larger one. Details really nice, very crisp, almost slightly akin to a miniature X plus if you will granted it's got a little bit of gapping here in some of the seam section but claws are painted nicely and for the suit which I don't really care for this suit all that much in particular this one to me always felt like it was more of the definitive one to get a hold of it's presentable unlike this I mean unlike this thing which is amazing right <coughs> <laughs> Look at how much that bronze color <laughs> shows through. It's oh, totally man. like it was in the movie. <clears throat> yeah, the articulation, man. I mean, it. I I'm sorry, you guys. This this thing wait, has got wait. nothing. This it's actually got a wing articulation. The tail moves side to side. Look, look how unique that joint is there. Oh, that is it's not like a rotation. Like it actually turns, so you can get oh kind of like neat angles out of it when you put in a flying mode you know you can just turn his tails any way you want yeah like, then you like shift his wings so now he's like flying at an angle and then you can bring hey, the tail all the way turn around. the wings down and now he's shooting missiles coming out of there <laughs> right but that looks kind of cool right like the way it looks <laughs> almost <Justice>. like uh <laughs> it kind of gives him that show a look when you're doing it like that just like when he's flying in from the sky like beady beady beaties <laughs> that's pretty good because that's what it actually sounds like. Ah. Then, uh, no, like paint job on the claws, but at least the, the teeth are painted. They're one solid piece. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be positive. Yes, yeah, Steve, they're really good. I'm trying to help you here. But anyways, uh, first I guess we will start with detail. I feel like mine overall Shut up, has the detail Shut department. Up. Uh. The scaling on this, again, really crisp. Uh, for the most part, the paint job looks really great. Not X, like, not X plus good, but, like, teeth are painted, eyes are painted. It's got some metallic silver on the horns on the back here. You get some paint on the back of the wings and on the undersections. And for the most part, like, where it needed paint, it has paint. They put it on there. That, and the gold's brighter. I, there's no way you can defend this thing. I mean, like, I appreciate that it painted the eyes red. It's got pupils. Teeth are a little you bit want painted. To trade? I'll do it. Teeth are a little <laughs> bit painted. <laughs> I got this. They're somewhat presentable. But the only thing that this thing has that yours doesn't is the price. Yeah, I'll give you that. Because, like, size-wise, you can see mine's bigger. So you would expect this one to be more expensive. Yeah. Now, I think currently on eBay, if you want this guy, you're going to be looking more about 150 bucks. 
Uh, that guy you can pick up for about 12 Yep. And this is something that you would buy for your kids if they like Godzilla, they like King Ghidorah. This is something you'd buy for them because even if they destroy it, it's only 12 bucks. Arnaz, we can't talk about kids on the channel anymore. We have to only reference adults. Oh, excuse me. For your uh, miniature adult collectors. <laughs> <laughs> right? For the wee ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, this is something that if it gets destroyed, it's fine. It's only 12 bucks. Yeah, it's a little more durable. The only thing that kind of sucks, and I guess another point for this guy, is getting the entire cast of the film. Like, you can get Godzilla, Baragon, and Mothra to go along with him and go. I have, well, I have Mothra. So I gotta get Baragon and the Godzilla that match this one in particular. Yeah. Uh, but you can. It's a thing. This guy, on the other hand, I think you can only get Godzilla in the same scale. But, Steve, the cool thing is mine has articulation right there at the stomach. Look at that. I would say the final thing we can talk about. I would actually say that thing is better articulated. It's not articulation. It's literally a seam line. I, okay, I understand. <laughs> I the joke. But, like, mine doesn't even have a thing there to begin with, which I guess is a positive. Yeah, it's a positive. <laughs> like, this is a but massive... I'm just, I'm just saying, yours has wing articulation. Mine don't move. Mine's flopped over down. Yours at least, like, look traditional Ghidorah in the upright position. Like, I think I like, like, in terms of pose, I like that one better. Like, mine looks like he's had a really bad day. We all got bad days, man. And he's, he's a about to lose to a horrible $12 figure, man. Just because he costs like 150 bucks. But, even though I would say I like the articulation on that one better, this one still has more articulation because you can move his heads. Yeah, you can move the heads, which I, th I would say. Is almost more important than the wings. Like, I like that the wings are upright, but these still have, like, character to them. Yeah. And I like being able to adjust the heads, especially for, like, toy photography. You know... But then, I don't think the legs are articulated on that guy, are they? No, just the wings and the tail, that's it. So, actually, mine has more articulation. Well, but, if you give me, like, a few minutes, I will make this guy very articulated. Because look at all these seam lines. I will make a move. You know, uh, I did that for one of my Bandai vinyls. My uh, my my Heisei Ghidorah. You taught that? Uh, no, it was as a kid, it bothered me that I couldn't articulate the head, so I made them articulate. <laughs> I still got that one. <laughs> I wouldn't even say as a kid. This was like 13-year-old Steve was like, I can't move this. <laughs> I can move now. I heated it up with a hair dryer well, like, and adjust it accordingly. are so mad. I, look, it... Looks like you can move it, but yeah, it's always right. Been odd. Don't do it. They're all pretty well glued in there. Yeah, you know, even like the stomach region. So for the most part, like the wings. And I tail. like the pose, but yeah, it's mainly like uh, yeah, it's really all it's got. It's just in a, I think a more. This reminds me. I think a more collectible, friendly pose. While this one's more unique. This one reminds me more of him running towards Godzilla. This one reminds me more of him, like, flying towards Godzilla because you can set it up that way. Yeah, it'd be kind of like a cool one to hang up. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing this thing has. So, I guess after considering all the options, the only real major positive of that guy is it's literally a tenth of the price. And also more readily available because you eBay... Summit Kaiju, or uh, nice, uh, Showcase Die Kaiju. Um, pretty much places that sell Bandai vinyls. You meet, like, classic. Well, God, it's hard for me to say that 2003 is a classic. That was almost 20 years ago. It's a classic. <laughs> right? Oh, God, I'm old. But a older band, they, they sell older Bandai vinyls. And then you're going to be looking to pay a pretty penny. Yeah. Not as much as X Plus. Like, this is kind of like. Middle of the road. Which works for me. Because, like, I've always had a soft spot for these to begin with anyways. I don't know. At this point in time, I think I'd just rather pay another extra 150 bucks and get X+. Plus. <sighs> but then it takes up more space. That's uh, that's also another thing. Because this guy takes up actually quite a bit of space. Not as much as an X+, plus, mind you. That guy takes up next yeah. to nothing. <laughs> just turn it backwards, people. Like, 
This is, he should just be facing. Yeah, all plus, like you were pointing out, like you put it in a flying pose, and then you just like put it on some strings on your shelf, and then he really isn't taking up. At this point in time, you're not losing anything if you literally drill a hole and put one of those screw in, you know, ties. And yeah, it's it. pretty cheap, which means you could buy multiples and you could customize it. Like that's more of a that that one's actually a pretty decent one to customize. Just have flying doors all over your bedroom, <clears> like thirty of them. Well, think about it. if I was gonna do a kaiju girl, it would probably be that one because I just don't care about cutting the crap out of it. Right. So I guess, like, custom purposes, that one's probably the better one to deduce, too. No, no, no. You guys be smart and buy a $150 one. And oh, yeah, then chop the crap up. Well, I guess because it's already articulated, like, you just gotta heat the joint and, like... Pop it out. Boom. There we go. We got one of her hands now. Now I gotta get it back on. Yeah! Like, oh. There we go. Uh, so, I would... The thing is the price. Like, I, I'm the usually, price. like... If you like, when we go like NECA monster arts, I, it's easier just for me to go monster arts, right? Yeah. Because it's only like there's thirty to like forty dollars difference, and like you can clearly see why it's more expensive. Like sculpt money, sculpt articulation, plastic quality paint job. Like usually, well, lack of paint job, but still accurate. Yeah, I guess is the best way to say it works out better for me. While these, it's like, it's literally the exact same thing, but this one just has a little more going on for it, and... But it's so much more. Yeah, and it's heftier because of how old it is. As bad as this is, if you can get it, this is what you would go with. I would say it probably had to be how much you really liked the movie. Like, yeah. I lucked out and got this guy pretty cheap. Which I highly appreciate Res for that. <laughs> and the price point I pay, I would definitely go over with this one over this one. Because I think he was more like 50 I paid. Yeah. Around there, I mean, it's been a hot minute. And at if that you, price, seems like a steal. If you can buy it below, if you can find it below 70 bucks, get it. Actually, if I say below 100. Oh, I wouldn't. Because It's because of the size. Like, it's not Grand Ghidorah size, but. It's close. Yeah. And I'd almost say this actually, I think, detailed-wise, is probably actually a little better. Like, the Grand Gador is really nice, but I think this one's just, like, a little crisper looking. And I don't even like this suit. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It's not, to me, it's not the worst one. It's not the best one. What's worse? What's a worse Ghidorah than this? Remember that movie where they used it, like, the second time? The suit and it's all tore up? You know, I still think I like that. <laughs> I'll take the guy gain one. <laughs> Where, like, you could tell those faces have had better days. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, I think it, it's mainly a gauge. Like, I, as a collector, I would still go for this. Like, I would just pay the extra, have the nicer looking one on my shelf. Extra $140, people just saying, throwing that out there. But... If I bought that one, I would always still feel like I need a like I need a Monster Arts, or I just like I'd want a better version at some point. Like this would be like the stepping stone figure. This fills me inside right here. I'm satisfied with this because it's literally the representation of the suit and how hideous it is. So because it's an ugly looking suit to begin with, we go with the ugly looking vinyl. Accuracy, baby. <laughs> And this is how you display it from the back, so. No, 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 no. That's... I was going to say, from the back, it ain't bad. <laughs> it ain't great, exactly. though. Exactly, so. It's, like... it's when you start turning around the sides, we start having questions. There it is, right there. You're welcome. I just saved you 140 bucks. <sighs> Again, collector. Go with the bigger guy. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, I'm trying to, I'd, I'd just go actually go with trying to find it without a tag because you'll save yourself some money. Yeah. Because um, for me, I, like, I know personally, I really care less if they got a tag or not. So, man, I'm tired. Me saving like an extra like 20, 30 bucks because it doesn't have a tag, I'm, I'm cool with that. Especially since like I do the photos and stuff anyways. You got to take the tag off. Yeah, like I take them off anyways. I just like, they don't look as cool on the shelf with the stuff hanging off of them. Like, this looks neat, and then I can put little buildings next to them, and we're good to go. There's two types of collectors. One to collect for money, and one collect for fun. Money keeps the tag on, fun keeps the tag off. Yeah, but, like, if, like, 
when you start like if you're only collecting really for investment value like it wouldn't there just be better things to invest in not really because at the end this is still your hobby but you know you'll get bored of it sooner or later well yeah well it's like it's a hobby but like if you got it all in the boxes and you're worried about the value later i've always been more in the client of i collect it as a hobby and then if i need to sell it eventually i'll sell it yeah but i want to enjoy it while i have it because it's a hobby i don't really get to enjoy it in the box but to reach the room yeah but anyways help us defeat those guys just by hitting the like button subscribe and come region today hit that annotation if you guys like to keep up to date with the channel or follow our instagram facebook patreon and pinterest if you guys like to keep up to date in those things as well and donate greatly would appreciate it and see you guys in the next video Bye bye, bye, -bye.